Hi everyone. On Sunday, I reported it was breaking news at the time that Julian Assange was about to get his communications partly restored by the Ecuadorian Embassy, where he has been holed up in London for the last six and a half years under arbitrary detention. At this stage, trolls who haven't got a fucking brain in their head and aren't capable of any independent critical thinking will be tapping furiously away on their keyboards in the comments section below saying he's not arbitrary detained, he's free to leave any time. <laughs> shut up, you idiots. Just shut up. You're an idiot, is what you are. You're an absolute idiot. Look, on, look up the word arbitrary. Look up the word, the definition of the word arbitrary. Pay, pay special attention to, to the, where it says autocratically. Well, it turns out, I digress. It turns out that there have been limitations, massive draconian limitations on him getting these communications partly restored. But what I want to concentrate on this, uh, on in this video, what I want to concentrate on is not that, but the fact that the BBC have yet again published an article about Julian Assange that contains blatant lies, blatant fake news. Every single time I've reported this year on anything that the BBC have done with regards to Julian Assange, there has not just been a total admittance of anything truthful about Assange that maybe the public would think, well, that's not fair. They totally omit anything like that, but also they publish in every single time without fail they do it, they publish blatant lies, and this latest report is no exception. Julian Assange given feline ultimatum by Ecuador, they say. By the way, it took them two days to publish anything about this. Two days. WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange has been given a set of house rules at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London that include cleaning his bathroom and taking better care of his cat. <laughs> better care. Gives the, gives the um, people the illusion he's been mistreating his cat, that does, doesn't it? The whistleblower was sent a memo in which he was warned that his feline companion could be confiscated. He was also told to look after its well-being, food and hygiene. In the set of guidelines written in Spanish, Ecuador also said it would partially restore his internet connection. Mr. Assange, who has been holed up in the embassy since 2012, had his online access cut in March this year after interfering in other countries' affairs, Ecuador said. In a set of guidelines presented to Mr. Assange this month, Ecuador warned the 47-year-old to provide better care, they've said it again, that word, of the feline that he shares the embassy with or it may be handed to a refuge. The cat which was given to Mr. Assange by his children often appears at the embassy window to watch the journalists gather outside. The cat also has its own Twitter feed, which says it is inter interested in counter prevalence. It is unclear what is behind Ecuador's concern over Mr. Mr. Assange's treatment of his roommate. Again, given the impression that he's mistreating his cat. And here is a blatant lie. On the subject of cleanliness, however, Mr. Assange tweeted earlier this year, save water, don't shower. Did he? I'll come to that in a minute. Mr. Assange has remained at the embassy after seeking asylum to avoid extradition to Sweden on a rape allegation. He alleges that the accusations were politically motivated and could lead to him being extradited to the US over the publication of secret US military documents and diplomatic cables in 2010. Sweden later dropped its investigation. Five words at the end there. Five words you notice there's nothing in the article. Nothing in the whole article. There never is on any BBC report on Assange. Rarely is. Saying that the United Nations have said it's cruel and unusual punishment. Human Rights Watch and other organisations have said this is akin to torture. Freedom of expression taken away. Illegal. Don't put any of that in. They don't put any of it in at all. The BBC, who in their charter says that they should inform the public in a fair and balanced way, 
They're in violation of their charter every single fucking time they even mention the word Assange on their website or write about him. Every single time without fail. And as you can see there where it says on the subject of cleanliness, however, Mr. Assange tweeted earlier this year, save water, don't shower. This is what they're referring to. Save water, don't shower. That's not Julian Assange, you fucking idiots. It's a parody account. Look at the way he's at, look at the way his Twitter handle is spelt. They've got the N and the, the N and the G the wrong way around. They will jump at anything, won't they? To paint him in a bad light. They'll jump at anything. You're in violation of your fucking charter, BBC. And to be quite honest, it's no surprise to me that hundreds of thousands of people every year are opting out of the, the BBC licence and opting out of your propaganda and bullshit and your blatant lies when you can't even get a simple thing like that right. I refuse to believe, refuse flat out to believe that that is a fucking mistake. They know which is Julian Assange's proper Twitter handle. They fucking should. They print enough bullshit about him every month. So no, he didn't print that, BBC. Isn't it about time you retracted that fucking lie? My apologies for swearing, but this is making me angry. And I'm sure it's making you angry too. Here's the translation on Gizmodo of what... Ecuador released. They said the document also demands that Assange assume responsibility for the quote welfare, nutrition, cleanliness and proper care of his pet cat and the cleaning and hygiene of the bathroom and other spaces he uses inside the embassy. Does it say he's mistreating his cat? No. Does it say he's filthy and not showering? No. Doesn't say any. Doesn't say that. Doesn't say he's mistreating his cat at all. Doesn't say he's he's filthy and he's not showering. What this is is a list of draconian measures put on to him in a very minute detail, in the hope that because Julian Assange, despite his treatment, he's a human being. He's been treated worse than an animal, but he's a human being, and human human being occasionally make mistakes. And they are trying to put as many restrictions on him as possible so that one day he will violate one of these draconian terms and they will either A, be able to take his cat away from him or B, kick him out the embassy so he can go and be tortured by the CIA over in a black site in America on some trumped up stupid cyber terrorism charge for publishing. Let's remember... Let's remember, with the BBC, they say down there, he alleges that his accusations were politically motivated and could lead to him being extradited to the US over the, publica over the publication of secret US military documents and diplomatic cables in 2010. They don't mention any anywhere that in that release was footage of a gunship murdering two Reuters reporters, journalists. Didn't mention, didn't mention anything on there, anything about his cruel and unusual punishment, as I say, or his torture, blah, blah, blah. Don't mention anything like that. They only ever publish things that show him in a bad light. That's all they do. They're not the only publication. They're all the same. The Guardian did the same thing as well. The Guardian said better care of his cat, even though at the top they said here Assange was told to take charge of the well-being, food, hygiene and proper care of his pet cat. And then at the bottom of the article they said he's going to take better care of his cat. Didn't, didn't actually say that from what I can tell, unless it's elsewhere in the translation and I missed it. I certainly don't believe he's mistreating the one life form he has got access to in that embassy. Assange, who was this is again from the Guardian. Assange, who's been living in Ecuador's UK embassy since June, must obtain approval for all the visitors from diplomatic staff three days in advance. He is expressly banned from activities which could be quote considered as political or interfering with the internal affairs of other states. Is there anywhere in that uh, BBC article that says you know any of that? Anywhere? 
No, just making out that he's mistreating his cat and then publishing a blatant fucking lie two thirds of the way down. You disgust me, BBC. You disgust me. This article also said in The Guardian, I just want to outline here, according to the memo, the embassy, quote, reserve the right to authorise security personnel to seize equipment as well, or to ask the British authorities to enter the embassy to do so. So they have put massive stipulations on him here in the hope that him, with him being a human being, as I say, even though they're not treating him like a human being, that's not me, that's the United Nations, it's Human Rights Watch that's saying that he's, he's under, you know, he's been arbitrarily detained and tortured and treated in an inhumane way. They don't put any of that in there. They just put, they just spin it in a way that makes him out makes it seem to an uneducated public that he's mistreating this little fella that he loves. The one the one thing he has got constant contact with in that embassy. They're just trying to make out that he's mistreating it. I'm disgusted at the BBC and so should you. And to all those people who are saying, oh, he's now arbitrary to change. If you're a subscriber of mine and you think that, just fucking unsubscribe. I don't want you even watching my videos. You disgust me. You haven't got a brain in your head. You can't think critically. You're incapable of critical thinking. Incapable. You're just blinded by the fact that he, he proved Queen Hillary to be, li uh, to be a blatant liar and the DNC to be unbelievably corrupt. That's it. Oh, somebody said to me on the live stream in the weekend, or oh, thank you Assange for giving us Mr. Trump, really. He gave you Mr. Trump. It wasn't the neoliberal cheating fucking Clintons, corrupt Clintons or the corrupt DNC. It wasn't any of them. No, no, it was the public. It was the it was the person that published the facts and the truth about it. He doesn't publish anything about the GOP. They say really, apart from you know all the war crimes that he exposed that the George Bush administration was doing. I'm going to end this. Because otherwise I'm going to start ranting and swearing at the screen again. Again, I apologise for any swearing. I don't usually swear in my videos. But occasionally, I get really angry and upset. And unfortunately, the profanity comes out. I think it's understandable. Well, I, I would like to apologise for it. Free Julian. We've got to do something to get him out of that horrible situation. Because I honestly think his only hope at the moment is for him to hang on long enough for this government to finally crumble and for a Labour government under Jeremy Corbyn to get in. Because I honestly think that Jeremy Corbyn is his only hope. And I'm not 100% sure that Jeremy Corbyn would change anything with regards to it. I know he supports Julian Assange and supports a free press. So we'll see. But the outside pressure he's going to be under and the pressure from the media would be absolutely unbearable if he was to say no we're not going to extradite him um we'll see but i honestly think that's his only hope at the moment and our only hope of getting julian's voice back because it certainly seems even though he's had his communications partly restored that he's not going to get his voice back and that's what we desperately need and as i've said before it's the timing of all this that's curious around the timing of the the, the, the story of the Skripal poisoning falling around the UK government's ears just before the trilateral bombing of, of Syria. And then you've got Putin and it just goes on. The last six months, seven months have been unbelievable news-wise. And yeah, no doubt Julian Assange would have been able to shed some light on a lot of it and, and be able to expose a lot of the lies that we've been told. Um, I miss his voice and I'm sure you do too. I'm not going to go on with this rant. I'm not going to go on with this video. I'm just going to end it by saying, um, free Julian, free connect, re reconnect Julian. Well done Unity 4J for all of the good work that you're doing. Keep going. You're doing great work. And a special fuck you very much to the BBC. Seriously, fuck you. You disgust me.
If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and click the bell below so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. Independent voices like mine, I'm sure you're aware by now, are being censored across all social media platforms, so please like and comment on the videos, that really does help the channel out, and share the videos wherever you can to grow the audience. If you can, please support me on Patreon, you can do it for as little as a dollar a month. I cannot do this without your help, I rely on your donations. Thanks very much for your support, it really is appreciated. Until next time, peace and take care.